The toughest parts of a game always have a purpose. Losing against a cheap boss repeatedly can be annoying, but it makes it all the more satisfying when you triumph. It's tough to say goodbye when a character dies, but we usually don't get too down about it if they had a decent send-off. But then there are some moments in video games that not one single soul wanted to see. Have you ever wanted to relax by watching a cow empty its bowels? I thought not. So why would any company think it was a wise idea to put it in a game? Why do games throw in last-minute twists that don't make sense? What deranged developer thought it was a good move to turn the mascot of a respected franchise into a pervert? I'm Jess from What Culture, and here are 10 video game moments nobody asked for. Number 10. Your Wife Is Your Arm Bionic Commando in 2009, Capcom decided to revitalize the dwindling Bionic Commando franchise with a reboot, uncreatively called Bionic Commando. Even though the gritty retelling received mixed reviews, the latest installment in the franchise was not a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, it definitely wasn't a masterpiece, but Bionic Commando 2009 was a refreshing take on a tired franchise. Also, the arm mechanics were cool as hell. Unfortunately, these positive qualities were overshadowed by, let's be honest, one of the dumbest plot twists in video game history. About two-thirds through the main campaign, our hero discovers the bionic arm contains the soul of his dead wife. What makes this revelation more ridiculous is how pointless it is. If you remove this element from the game entirely, it wouldn't impair the narrative in any way. All the developers had to do to make this game better was not try to expand the lore with a convoluted nonsensical plot twist. Bionic Commando may not be as bad as the critics said, but this part definitely definitely deserved all the hate it received. Number 9. Watching Sarah Die – The Walking Dead Season 2 Throughout The Walking Dead Season 2, one of the only characters that shows Clementine some kindness is a teenager called Sarah. Because Sarah suffers an anxiety disorder and is pretty oblivious to the zombie apocalypse, a lot of players find her naive and annoying. However, her behavior isn't her fault since her father forced her to live a sheltered life to protect her from the horrors of the world. Sadly, raising Sarah this way became her undoing. After her dad is killed, Sarah begins to mentally shut down. Not only is she unable to function socially, she's in utter denial that her father is gone. Even though The Walking Dead has never had any qualms with killing off characters, no matter how innocent they are, you really don't want to see Sarah go. So when a horde of walkers surround her, you hope Sarah will snap out of her current state and take better control of her life. Instead, she lies paralyzed, screaming out for her dad to save her while zombies tear her apart. Whether she yelled daddy out of instinct or because she genuinely thought her father would protect her despite being dead, it's a truly heart-wrenching scene. Number 8. A cow takes a dump, conquers bad fur day. Changing tracks entirely, when the trailer for 12 Tales Conquer 64 was unveiled, it was criticized for being another cutesy platformer from Rare, in the same vein as Banjo-Kazooie and Donkey Kong 64. Rare took this critique to heart, encouraging them to revise this adorable game into a mature-rated platformer called Conquer's Bad Fur Day, which included swearing beetles, Nazi teddy bears, and bees humping busty flowers. Although the crass humor could have massively backfired, it became became the game's greatest selling point. Even if you took all the crude jokes out, Conquer was still a great game in its own right, due to its catchy music, creative puzzles, and impressive voice acting. But that doesn't mean everything in the game worked. At one point, you have to watch a cow taking a gargantuan-sized crap. Now, we don't want to criticize toilet humor. Fighting the great mighty poo is the funniest part of the game. Also, we knew what we were getting ourselves into when we bought Conquer's Bad Fur Day. We wanted to see cute characters swearing, and we enjoyed bashing the boiler and his brass balls. But nobody on the planet wants to watch a farm animal take a diarrhea-induced dump. Number 7. Everyone Had Amnesia – Final Fantasy VIII since its release, Final Fantasy VIII has received a lot of unfair hate. Yes, the junction system is unnecessarily confusing, we still don't understand it, but that still shouldn't take away from the epic storyline, intricate relationships, and wonderful graphics that, despite being from the PS1 era, still hold up today. But one element of Final Fantasy VIII that absolutely deserves criticism is the orphanage scene. Before your group was formed, each member believed they were only recently acquainted. But later, Squall, Renoa, Cypher, 
and the rest learned that they all grew up together in the same orphanage, but forgot about it after coming into contact with magic. As an added twist, you also learn the supposed antagonist of the story was your carer during this time. This scene was obviously meant to signify how all the characters share an almost predestined connection to one another. Instead, this plot development came across as laughably lazy. Even though Final Fantasy is superb at interweaving multiple complex story arcs and pulling off mind-bending curveballs, this particular twist is almost as unoriginal as it was all a dream. Number 6. That Damn Damn – Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles has had its fair share of great games, tournament fighters, the Hyperstone heist, and who could forget about Turtles in Time? But since TMNT on the NES was the first video game adaptation of the beloved cartoon and comic, it has a very important place in many gamers' hearts. Millions of people have very fond memories of this gem, and one very particularly bad memory. In the underwater level, the turtles must swim through the Hudson River to disarm a series of bombs. Throughout this area, you need to navigate through electrical seaweed, which cuts your health to almost nothing if you're not pixel perfect with your movements. Just to make this section more maddening, you have an unreasonable time limit. If the timer hits zero, it's game over. This compels the player to panic while paddling around the seaweed, making it more likely you'll get yourself killed. This level is so infuriating it overshadows every other aspect, to the point where most people can't remember anything else about the game. Seriously, can you recall anything else about this NES title? Even if you fail to remember the other levels, enemies, bosses, or the game's layout, there's no question this underwater section is burned into your mind forever. Number 5. Fuzzy Pickles – Earthbound Throughout Earthbound, our hero Ness encounters some peculiar characters. On your travels, you'll also regularly bump into a quirky chap called the Cameraman. Every now and then, this eccentric photographer will drop from the sky and ask if he can snap a picture of Ness. As he takes the photo, he asks Ness to say fuzzy pickles instead of cheese. With that done, he launches himself into the heavens, allowing you to continue on your journey. This moment is so random, you can't help but laugh the first time it happens. But then the the cameraman pops up later and he does this silly bit again, and again, and again. Throughout the game, the cameraman does this little routine 32 times. And guess what? You can't skip it. Believe us, we tried. What's annoying is this moment would have been fine if it happened once or twice, but because it happens over and over, usually when you're rushing to an important destination, it ends up hampering the gaming experience. Number 4. Fi Keeps Interrupting – The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Link's helper in The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Fi accomplished something that many thought was inconceivable. She's more annoying than Link's partner in Ocarina of Time, Navi. That's right, Fi managed to out Navi Navi. Every time you go anywhere, use an item, or move, Fi pops out like Clippy on steroids to give you unhelpful advice. If you reach a locked door, Fi will tell you you can't open it. You already knew this because that's how locked doors work. She regularly says something like, I calculate a 90% chance of success or this has a 70% chance of working. But because these statistics are completely inaccurate, there's no reason why she keeps mentioning them. What's worse is that every other aspect of Fi is amazing. Her backstory is fascinating, her theme song is beautiful, her design is unique. The way she dances with the grace of an ice skater during cutscenes is enchanting. But since Fi is only remembered for her relentless interruptions, you forget everything else about her. If her chronic nagging was removed, Fi would probably be viewed as among the best characters in the entire series. Number 3. Mega Man the Pervert – Mega Man Legends 2 even though Mega Man Legends 2 improved on its successor in every way, there was one bit that was very, very unneeded. At one point, Mega Man's partner Roll takes a bath. During this period, the player can choose to walk in and check Roll out. After the blue bomber enters, Roll will scream in anger, coaxing him to dash out. Now, the whole walk into a room while someone is changing bit has been done to death. Even though the idea can be creepy, the character usually doesn't come across as a peeping Tom if it was a genuine mistake. But since Mega Man voluntarily walks into the room when Roll told him she was in the tub, you can't help but see our hero as a perv. Mega also raises his fist in the air while a triumphant jingle plays in the background as he emerges from the bathroom, as if his actions are something to be oh so proud of. What makes this sequence more disturbing is how Mega Man and Roll are usually perceived as siblings in the franchise. That may not be the case here, but it doesn't make Mega's behavior any less unnerving. 
Number 2. Princess Peach Getting Naked – Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Nintendo have a reputation for being exceptionally protective of how their properties are depicted. However, that wasn't the case with Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. While Princess Peach is imprisoned in the x naught Fortress, she teams up with the AI computer Tech XX to escape. During her escapades, the Princess of the Mushroom Kingdom has to get naked. If you think that's weird, Peach gets her kit off on four separate occasions. Now, the first time she takes off her clothes is to have a shower. That seems innocent enough apart from the fact Tech XX watches her bathe, because reasons. Bizarrely, that's not the most inappropriate part. At one point, Peach consumes an invisibility potion to help her get around the facility without being spotted. As a concept, that's fine. However, the developers decided to add in an extra complication. Because the formula only works on organic matter, Peach's clothing will remain visible. As a result, Peach has to run around the fortress completely starkers. Now, it goes without saying that you never see Peach in the nip at any point in this game. Still though, it's pretty bewildering how the developers thought making Peach naked was pivotal to the plot. Number 1. The End – The Last of Us Part 2 Warning, huge spoilers ahead for The Last of Us Part 2, as you can probably tell from the fact that I said the end and then the game name, okay? So you can run off if you need to, but here we go. The bonding between Joel and Ellie in The Last of Us felt so utterly real and fervent, thanks to the talents of the performers and the script writers. Because we fell in love with these characters, gamers couldn't wait to get their hands on The Last of Us Part 2 and watch the pair rekindle their friendship. However, many players were shocked to learn Joel is barely in the sequel. In fact, you don't plays him at all, save for the prologue. Sadly, what is to come is far more jaw-dropping. After Joel is confronted by Abby, he's brutally beaten to death with a golf club. After watching this beloved character having his head caved in like a melon, there's only one thing on the player's mind – revenge. Killing Abby won't bring Joel back, but it will give you closure, knowing his killer got her comeuppance. But when Ellie confronts Abby in the climax, expectations are subverted once again. Just as it looks like the pair are about to kill each other, the two ladies go their separate ways. Although a lot of fans did enjoy the ambiguity of this scene and the suggestion that Ellie realized that violence wasn't going to solve the pain she was feeling, many others were outraged, believing they'd lost their chance to avenge Joel forever. That is the end of our list, but do let me know down in that comment section if you can think of any other video game moments you reckon absolutely nobody asked for, but we got anyway. As always, I've been Jess from What Culture. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like, you can come say hi to me on my Twitter account where I'm at Jess McDonald, but make sure you stay tuned to us here for plenty more gaming goodness.